Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and today we're looking at Strategy and Tactics World War II. Um, this is a total strategy game. It's not going to blow you away with any special effects. It reminds me a lot of uh, Risk. Um, there are three game modes. Uh, you can play against the computer, two-player hot seat, or play over Wi-Fi. Basically, you're going to be playing on the Axis side to take over certain regions in the first part of the game, and then the second part, you will play with the take USSR. Let's turn on this volume a little bit, uh, and uh, the Allies to take back those regions. Um, and I'm going to just go into one of these areas here. So to get a little bit of narrative there, and we'll get rid of that. Um, so basically, I need to conquer all provinces of uh, Denmark and Norway. Uh, and of course, some additional objectives, not a big deal. Um, so we'll go right in. Now, this is me down here. And this is uh, the computer up here. Uh, so you can see I start with, um, and of course the screen may be a little uh, small here. I'll zoom in a little bit. Um, I have uh, 10 armies here. Uh, right here is my flag. And then there happens to be an enemy close by uh, with two uh, number soldiers. So I could uh, literally attack them and not worry about losing. To, to attack, you just simply tap it and then tap where you want to go. We're going to say attack. You can also send over a certain amount of, uh, of troops. We have different types. So I can say, you know, I can leave some behind or whatever. In this particular case, I'm going to go with all of them. I can exit out as well. We'll hit the check. And then once you do that, you click, you tap on that. And I, I went in and I took over that spot but left them with one. You can also see I had a plane here um, that was with me all along, and there's uh, a, a number of four as well. So now, when you're done with your turn, you just tap that, and they just moved there, and they made some other moves probably up top. I was zoomed uh, in. And what's weird is now, there's nobody occupying here, but I'll have, and I can't just simply move into it. I need, whoops, I need to attack it in order to take over that spot, and I will. If you're moving around, you can have multiple moves, um, I guess, if, if it's a, if it's a uh, jeep or something like that. I, and right now you can't make any more moves, and so we'll go ahead and press that. And he came in to me, uh, but he went down. So now what I can do is then take over some of these, region, some of these regions to finish this off area, and then eventually go up here. But we'll go ahead and just go up here. And then they're moving guys around. What's going to happen is they're going to end up with higher numbers than I really am going to be able to beat. And by using these coins here, I'm going to have to purchase more. Um, and hopefully I wouldn't have to use my own money. Now this app does cost $4.99. Usually when an app costs some, uh, some change, you don't expect more purchases. But uh, you could have to purchase some more here. So I can go right in here, and maybe I'm going to send in. I'm going to send in all the troops into here. And I might have to start splitting them up now at this point. And you can see they're moving around because they've had this whole area. They can make multiple moves. Well, for me, I have to literally attack each of these areas, so I can't do it. I can't do multiple moves. So, I've got this area here, these two, two, and there's three guys here. What I can do is say I'm going to go in here and I'll attack, but I'll only send in a little bit and keep a little bit behind. And of course I can combine them after. So now I have six and four. I can take out this guy easily and take out this guy. There's also a meter underneath as you can see. Now I left the plane still down below. I, I have his access as well. And they just came in and tried to make a move here and uh, we're, weren't able to do anything. And they're kind of moving away right now, but you can see they've, they've got a 10 here, a 4. 
they're going to start combining and it's going to be tough to beat these guys. Um, you don't gain anything by taking somebody out, which would make it a little bit cooler, but that's where you're going to have to bring in more uh, troops and they can bring in more ground or air. So that's pretty much how you play it. It's, it's, a, very, it's a big time strategy game and, and in this particular mission I want to get grab this whole entire region as well as finish off here. I can take the plane here and uh, move it over here. And uh, it's a relocation. So that's what you, so the controls are a little weird uh, sometimes in doing things like that. And then I believe I can make multiple moves because I had just only I was I only moved that plane. So it's a little complicated. Uh, I, there's a really nice tutorial um, which I did have to go through twice. So I took that, uh, took them out, and I'm starting to gain a little region here. But they're going to start multiplying here, as you can see. And I may have a tougher time taking them out. They split up pretty good. So now I've got six and four. I might want to combine, relocate here. But I'm not sure if I can make a, another move, though, with the soldiers. Let's see. That's where I get mixed up at times. Whoops. We're not going to relocate. Yeah, you can drag also. So let's just say, I'm going to go for this guy right here. Let's try it. Because that would be a big chunk if I can take him out. And I did. So, that's pretty much it. And it's called Strategy and Tactics World War II. It's by HeroCraft. It's $4.99. Check it out. And thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.